So that have been all the comparisons operators here I wanted to cover. Now let's move on to Boolean operators. What are Boolean operators? Let me give you an example. I'll write an if statement here and I'll check here if one equals one. And now I want to add another condition and I do this with a Boolean operator. By writing two AND signs, I add another condition which I expect to be true. So here I want to check if 2 equals 2. And in this case, I'll print true. Now what do you think I'll get if I hit run? I get true. And I'll also specify an else case here just to have something in case we're entering something which would not be true. But as you see, I still get true. So the Boolean operator here basically tells JavaScript both sides of this operator has to be have to be true. Or put in other words, combine both results into one single result. This would also be a way of thinking of it. You might specify parentheses about around the individual checks here just to separate this a bit clearer. So therefore here, if I check if two equals three, which clearly is not the case, and I have to add one parenthesis here. So what do you think I'll get now? I get false because the combined operator is now no longer true, but instead false. And to make this clearer, I get rid of this and I'll make this easier here. I check if one equals one and then two equals three. And I print out the combined result, which of course is, and I should add log here. So I print out this result, which of course is false. Because this operator combines both results. That's what a Boolean operator does. I also have another operator, the OR operator with two pipe symbols here. What do you think I'll get now? I get true because this OR operator will return true as long as any of the conditions we have here is true. So it prefers true and checks if anything here is true. Of course, I can chain multiple. So I'll add if four equals five. And if I run this, I still get true because at least one of all these conditions here is true, the first one. If I change this to something which isn't true, I get false in the end. If I change this back to being true, but I add end here, what do you think I'll get now? I still get true because what am I checking here? I check if this is true or if this is true. And well, this here is still true. So I get true overall. It looks different if I add this here and replace this with the OR operator. If I now hit run, I get false because I'm requiring this to be true, which would be the case, and this to be true, which is not the case. Now, how are these conditions here treated? So are we checking if this is true and this is true or if this is true and this is true? We can simply check this by adding a four here or making this five a four. Now this expression would return true. This returns true. So if we're checking this and this, we should get true. If we're only checking this and this, we should still get false. So let's see what happens. We get true. So we're actually comparing this to this. Of course, we can change this behavior with additional parentheses here. Now we're checking if this and this is true and thereafter we're checking or if this is true. So what would you expect now? Well, we still get true. Because this part here will resolve to false since we require both conditions to be true, which is not the case. But then we check if, well, this is true or 
if this is true. And this of course is true. So only if I change this back to five, will we get false here. Because, because now no condition is satisfied. So you can use Boolean operators to chain conditions and to, well, resolve them to true or false. So we had a look at quite some operators here. Now, sometimes you don't want to check if something is equal or if something is greater than, but you want to check exactly the opposite if it is not true, if it is not equal. Well, you can do this too. You can simply try the following. You could check if one is not equal to two. And if I now hit run, what do we expect to see in the console? Well, you see true in this case, because one isn't equal to two. So with the exclamation mark operator, you can invert the meaning or the, well, the check in this case. So then you're checking not for equality. Equality. You can also do something else. You can create a variable, name it is true, and let's say it's equal to true. Now with the exclamation mark, you can also invert the value here. So if I now hit run, what do you think we'll see? Well, now we see false. So with this, I'm kind of converting this or well, I'm just inverting it. So true becomes false and false would become true. You invert the meaning, you check for the opposite. And oftentimes that is what you want to do because you might want to check if you got a value that is anything but one, for example. And in this case with the exclamation mark, it's very easy to do this.